Hello, welcome back to Nagidal Let's Plays Arena. I had a small accident with the save games and I lost uh, many pre-recorded videos, so I had to create it, had to create another Nagidal character, Nightblade. The attributes are almost identical, luckily. We have a little bit more strength and a bit less health and a bit more gold. Okay, but we can proceed with this character. It's the same like the character before. Um, yeah, so let's dive in into the nice atmosphere of Arena. Um, we've we've seen the dream of. Ria Silmane and we start in a prison cell where we should find a key. You awaken to the drip of water from somewhere above. The cell walls are covered in, the, in slime, as are the chains which hang from above. Your eye, however, immediately goes to a strange ruby glint from the corner of your cell. Okay, let's look for that strange ruby glint. Ah, this is the key. We will see such such descriptions more often here in the sewers. Not a, not everything could be displayed by graphics in those years. Arena was for its time an immensely uh, huge game with vast, unimaginably vast gaming environment, gaming world and the game makers Bethesda had to save every little bit of computer memory and processing power so we see very simple graphics and well from today's point of view very simple 3d world the corridors here seem twisted and confusing, but Ria's instructions were to go west, then south, to find the shift gate. Yeah, Ria also said this uh, was um, Jaggertharn's deposit for some of its tre treasures, some of his treasures. So I would like to go look, have a look around here, because we will be not able to return here at any later point so what we can get here now we can get and that's it so now this treasure this treasure in front of us had a bag of 50 gold ring and a tanto i don't know exactly what a tanto is i think it's a bigger dagger or something however we are not allowed to use tanto as a night blade class um, so it, it, it appears red in our inventory list however I can equip the dagger and the ring I found rings are magical this one has some kind of spell I don't know yet and it has 37 charges of it It would be nice if it, if it would be a healing spell or something. Okay. Uh, listen, listen to the nice music. I hope the the volume of the music and the special effects is good enough for you to hear um, and still hear clearly my voice. So let's try this. Um, yeah. All right. So west would be the direction I hear. Uh, the corridors here aren't actually that... Wow, what's this? This is a goblin and... I have instinctively draw my weapon before thinking of casting spell. I, um, maybe it's because I, I'm used so much to melee combat characters in arena um, and I think 
I don't know what's the key uh, hotkey for casting spells. It's C, okay, because it it costs me time when I see an enemy to go with my mouse here, click here, and then so I and also my fingers. This this game has no WASD movement. It has the classical arrows, and it's kind of. It also needs time to move my hand to the C key. Okay. Wow. Ah, too too late. He's already dead. Hey, luckily he hasn't damaged us so much. And he had a staff. That's nice. I picked that up. Wonder about the other other goblin. You see this atmosphere, these drums in in the in the, in the distance. I was I was so sh um, horrified by it when I played it. I don't know how old I was, 14, 15. It it had a very very horrific atmosphere for my uh, weak nerves. Now staff, yes, we've got a staff, and. In Arena we get a little bit more information about weapon strength than we get in Oblivion. When I right click on the dagger in my equipment list I see it has damage 1 to 6 and staff has 1 to 8 so I will equip staff. Is it two-handed weapon? It doesn't say anywhere but it is. And I will use my staff. It also has a uh, a longer range I think I can attack with a staff at a greater distance than with a, with a dagger. It would make sense. It was, anyway. Alright. Oh, a rat. And the second one. Yeah, it would be... I think it would be a waste to use magic against rats. The, the spell in our spellbook is... Some, some, somewhat too strong and too expensive for, to cast to be cast on ra rats. Red eyes seem to glitter at you from the darkness. Well, what could these red eyes be? It could be either rats or goblins. They have here also re red eyes. And we should save. The key to success is to save often and. Uh, to save at different positions. I will I will use all of my save game positions for this Let's Play and Nagidal and I will perpetuate them continuously in order to avoid avoid having corrupt save game position and losing everything before. So, the skittering of many tiny clawed feet can be heard on the west brown sto wet brown stones, yes, obviously the rats. And this is a kind of yeah, glitch, you could say. The enemy is stuck behind the corner and the rat ca cannot attack us, but we can somehow, I hope, yes. I will use this glitch often to save me f from losing health, especially against stronger enemies, if we are lucky to find them behind the, behind the corner. And we will hear another goblin, so let's, let's be observant where it is. And let's try our magic. seems safe to rest in these niches. You think the rats or other creatures may not smell you with the draft that runs so close to the floor. Alright, that's a nice tip. And when resting we will definitely prefer to to get high on this. Wah! Well the goblin was here before and I <laughs> I again forgot to cast a spell. But now, now, treasure. Come on, goblin, where are you? Where are you? 